This archived clip from Make Live is brought to you by DigiKey. Join us live every second and fourth Wednesday of the month. Our first guest is going to introduce us to a brand new awesome tool for 3D modeling. Let's take a look. So, hi, I'm Liz Aram. I'm a teacher at St. Anne's School in Brooklyn Heights. I teach middle school and high school students physical computing. And in my classes, we have two MakerBots, and we do a lot of 3D modeling. One of the programs that we use is Tinkercad, and I wanted to show you how to use it right now because it's really great. It's simple. It's web-based. It uses WebGL, so you have to use Safari. I mean, you can't use Safari. You have to use Google Chrome or Firefox. Um, but once you've signed in, you can use it remotely anywhere you want and download it to Thingiverse or print from Shapeways. So I'm going to sign in here and sign in. So I'm going to start with a new project. I click on Projects and click New Project. Um, I'm just going to show you some simple tools. There's four basic tools. There's the Add tool, the Subtract tool, the Work Plane, and the Measure. So Add is just what you think it is. I can add different shapes. I can specify the sizes and the heights. So I'm actually going to do a two millimeter um, size with a height of two millimeters because I'm going to do some drawing here. And I'm going to use the work plane. And maybe, let's see, I'm going to start, I'm going to click, and I'm going to make an M. And this is just a really simple thing that can be printed out on any 3D printer. And so I can leave it like that. And then let's make it A. And I'm making one piece. All right, so there I made a letter. Let's say I wanted to make a shape. I'm going to take the cube tool. I'm going to make it 15 size and 15 height. And I'm going to press, I, I click to accept the size, I'm going to click here on the work plane, hold shift and drag it so I can make it any size I want. And I can go back and I can add more to that shape. And I just have to let go of the mouse. Okay. Now I've got a solid shape. I'm going to go to the subtract tool and I'm going to take a cylinder and I'm going to make this cylinder 15 and let's go negative 20. Okay, so it's a little more than what I need. I'm going to put the work plane right on the top here, um, back to the cylinder, and I'm going to make a hole. And I can show you by putting the work plane, resetting the work plane, and I can rotate around so you can see that I made a hole. Uh, what's great about the work plane is I can put it down there, but I can also adjust it. So there's this adjust tool here. And if you click on the blue arrow, you can make it go up and down. If you click on the circles, you can start to rotate it. So you can get a lot of control in Tinkercad, which is great. So you can make really complicated parts. When you're done with a project, go to Projects. You can download it right to your desktop. You can go to Thingiverse, or you can go to 3D Print. The great thing about Tinkercad is it's a great tool. You can actually do a lot of detail with it. Um, you can be as simple as you want or as detailed as you want. It's easy to learn. Um, I use it in my class. My middle schoolers use it all the time. They make really complicated things and really simple things, and it's, it's fun. All right, well, we have Liz here live. Uh, thank you for joining us, first of all. Um, we had some questions in the chat. I guess we'll start with those. Um, yeah, sure. I've got one from Code Creations. Can you import SVG shapes? No, you can't import anything. No importing. Uh, All important. making new. I wonder if that's it's something that's to come, or you know, maybe it's just they want to just keep it simple. I and think a basic they want to keep it simple. Okay, interesting. Yeah. interesting. Another question from Graphmaster. How good is uh, Tinkercad support for keeping all the normals straight? What is it? Before we say what that is, what, what, what does that mean, keeping normals straight? Well, when you're doing 3D modeling, you, it's all about triangles and a mesh. And so if they get flipped, they're not straight and you can't print out. But uh, Tinkercad does it all for you. So you don't even have to worry about the normals. Oh, interesting. Cool. cool. That's great. So it's a pretty basic tool then. Yeah. And Can you tell us, like, what do you use it for? I know you're a teacher. You use it in your classroom? I do use it in my classroom. Uh, I start with 3D Tin, and then we move on to Tinkercad, which is a little more advanced. Um, we'll there's, something, there's something more basic than Tinkercad? There is. <laughs> oh, cool. So 3D what? Tin does the voxels. It's sort of like drag and drop. It's sort of like playing with Legos. Oh, neat. Is, uh, is that, is that web-based also? Or? It's also web-based. So it's 3DTin.com, and it's really simple. Uh, you could be in third grade and use it, which oh, is great. So maybe I can do a little 3D modeling. That's great. 
We have a question about your favorite parametric modeling software. First of all, could you explain to our audience at home what parametric modeling means? Well, it's, it's giving it parameters, and so you can change the size based on those variables. And I would I love OpenSCAD. I, in fact, I do most of my modeling that's more advanced with OpenSCAD and not Tinkercad. But I, but I do love Tinkercad for its simplicity and its immediacy. When you, when you say using variables, you're saying you're like writing code to make the shapes? Is that it's what it is? It's all code based, yeah. What's the advantage to, to um, doing that? You can that? change things. You can make them bigger, smaller, just by passing a different number. That's the parametric. Oh, okay, that you put in the parameters. Right. Okay, interesting. See, I don't, I don't know anything about, <laughs> about any of this stuff, so this is all new to me. I'm glad you're here to teach us this. This is great. What do you use? What, so your students use Tinkercad, and then like, what do they build? Um, they're, we're starting off small, so we're, we're um, embedding simple electronic circuits, um, and so then we use, we use Tinkercad, and we'll use OpenSCAD to actually do servo. Um, horns and controllers, and we'll do like a drawing machine, and we'll integrate the Arduino and some XBs with it, and so the OpenSCAD really works well for us, that kind of thing. That's perfect. What kinds of things have your students made? So far, we've just done a little bit of throwies. I can show you one. Oh, yeah. 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 So, so this Our one. Is, yeah, let me, yeah, can you just like tilt the camera more this way so we're more balanced? There we go. That's, perfect. there we go. So it's, a nice it's, symmetry. So it's kind of a throwy, but he's got a reed switch oh, inside. Let's pull it, lift it up here. Actually, put it underneath over here. Okay, can we see that? There we go. So it only turns on when it's near the magnet, so it's kind of a throwy. Right, there we go. And then so you would. It's got a reed switch in there. And a reed switch is in there, and then you would toss it on, you know, mailbox. Oh, that's fun. Now, so a student designed that, and yeah, yourself. that's great. It was about measuring. You measured like the size yeah, of the so battery. Yeah, so we took out our calipers, and, and then you know, and you try it out. It doesn't quite work, so you have to redo it. Now, I noticed you also have this, these, this Make Live, uh, 3D printed Make Live logo here that you made. Let me uh, get that in the shot there. What, uh, so that was in Tinkercad. In Tinkercad. Oh, yeah. cool. Yeah, and that was real quick. Oh, we got to flip it around. Whoop, I'm upside down. There we go. You're not upside down. You have to mirror image it. Oh, mirror. Oh, oh, flip. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, we forgot about that. That's yes. awesome. Yes, there we go. Yeah. OK. We're doing some fun That makes more sense. Today. Yeah, we had to do a little trick. trick. There we go. Make Live. There you go. Thank you, for, thank you Michael, for <laughs> getting that right for us. Asking why cool. we printed it backwards. We didn't print it. It's actually, look, you can do it either way. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, so if we have any other questions from the chat, we can take them. Um, let's see what we got here. Um, uh, da, 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 da. What, what, um, what's a CAD package? What's that CAD package? What's that CAD package? <laughs> no CAD package. Uh, I don't <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't All know. Right. Okay, tell us What's more the, about, about um, like your tool chain. You have MakerBots in your classroom. I have two MakerBots in my classroom. So like, what's the, what's the lesson? Why do you think, I know you think that MakerBots should be in public schools. I do, um, and I think every school should have them. And I think it's empowering. It, it helps foster creativity, and the kids are really inventive. They're really excited. Uh, they go home, they come up with designs, they come back, and, and people are coming in every day, and they're like, what's, what's it printing now? Um, it's, it's been really fantastic. And so I would love to see every school have one. And not just in the computer science department, but perhaps in like the math department, English department. I think there's lots art of- Art department. Definitely right. the art department. Yeah. Actually, um, we have another question. Um, Andrew Terranova is asking, uh, what age can kids really start with, with this? You said third grade before for so, something. So definitely, like, uh, you know, I've done um, houses in SketchUp with third graders, and you could print out the houses. So 3D tin, SketchUp for third graders. Um, I think, you know, it's, it's great for middle school, and it's perfect for high school. Great. That's awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Sure, great. Uh, that was great. It's a good fun. basic, you know. Intro. Intro, yeah. absolutely. Somebody was asking how you make specific sized objects, but you did that in your demo. You yeah. just type in the numbers. Yeah, there is a measuring tool there. It's perfect. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for being on our show.